Hi guys, welcome back. We're in Valheim today. Um, I just wanted to let you know, uh, this was recorded uh, quite a few days ago and I was about to upload it and something told me, hey, you probably should watch that and I'm so glad I did because I recorded the whole entire thing in mute. Never turned on my mic, not once. Um, I'm going to pause it here again because I want to thank you all. Um, at the time of this recording, we were, uh, we just put up the, our first tutorial in Valheim. I want to thank everybody for watching that and having the positive feedbacks. I, I appreciate it so much. The comments were wonderful. The feedback was wonderful. I do appreciate it. And I, thank you all. I appreciate it once again. I, I can't tell you how much. So back to this video. We are going to attempt to do a voiceover. And I'm not doing a very good job because I have absolutely no idea what I was doing on that map. I'm sure I was telling you something very insightful, but I can't remember what it is. It was almost a week ago. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. So this is, I think, our first infested mine. And I'm a complete idiot. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, like, watch this. I, I walk past this thing like three times. I have no idea what that thing is. Um, and I, I'm going to do it again. Look, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to wonder about it. Ooh, look at that. What is that? And yeah, just walked right past it. And if you are in the mine, I highly recommend the upgraded uh, black metal axe. Um, I did really well. I did die, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but for me, I think I did pretty good. Um, I'm sure there's better weapons out there, but I think for the level I was at, I think the black metal axe did really well. And let's see, am I going to walk past it again? Yeah, let's look at it. Let's be curious about it. What is it? Should we get it? What do we, oh, look. Now, I'll tell you true, guys. Um, I was playing with Rye Roll. If you guys don't know who Rye Roll is, um, I recommend watching the modder uh, where we fight the fight her. I did that with Ryroll um, for his playthrough and um, he he's actually a little further than I am on this and he gave me a sill breaker so I already had one so I had no idea that you needed to go around to the mines and find the little pieces for the sill breakers so um, because truthfully I was ready to fight the queen that day i was ready um i was ready to fight uh the um the planes boss and the queen i wanted to get it all done i i was done with this i wanted to move on and uh yeah this is why i don't use bows guys i, I i'm really bad at them um but he gave me a soul breaker. I appreciate it very, very much, but still haven't got to the queen yet. Um, I made the mistake of watching other people do the queen and I'm kind of terrified. I'll tell you the truth. I am completely terrified of going in there and doing the queen. Uh, that didn't sound right, but I mean, fighting the queen, that's the words I want to use, fighting the queen. Um, yeah, just not as excited about it as I was originally. 
Um, though, cause probably cause we made the decision not to use magic and not to use any, um, of the powers that you get when you, uh, like we don't have bone mass. We don't have, uh, uh, what does the elder give you? We don't have any bone mass is the only one I ever use because truthfully, that's the only one that counts for anything. Um, and yeah, so now I'm a little terrified. I try, I'm thinking I'm rethinking the magic thing, but I don't know. I think we should do it without the magic. Let's see if we can do it. Um, but we're definitely going to have to um, upgrade armor and uh, weapons because I'll tell you true, I am not going to make it. Um, so far in this one, uh, we only ran into regular seekers, but in a different mine, we ran into a couple of one stars and it was not a pleasant experience. Um, also guys, if you like the voiceovers, let me know. I'm going to try this um, mainly because I have so much um, of Valheim recorded where my audio is really wonky or non-existent because apparently pushing the button to turn on the sound is just a little beyond my abilities some days. And I would love to save those videos so you can see what actually happens. Um, but I, I'm not so sure about the voiceover. Matter of fact, up until about 20 minutes ago, I had no idea how to do this. So here at us. Look at us. We're learning things every day. We're learners. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're in here and this is your first time, I mean, most of you guys have played Valheim and probably are, you know, done with it and probably on your third playthrough. Um, I only get one day a week to play um, and record games. So um, I'm a little behind most people. But if you haven't been in these, make sure you pay attention to the walls. I don't think it's going to be seen in this one, but in... Um, one of my other playthroughs I found a whole bunch of stuff um, that I didn't get through in the first one. Um, walls and secret walls and stuff like that. And I want to know what's up there, but nobody tells me. Um, yeah, just keep an eye out on things. Um, I think I ran past one or two of them in this one, and I probably should go back if I can remember which mine this is. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And in a minute or two, I I think I figured out how to speed this up so we could get past some of this. Um, so I'm going to try it. If it's terrible, I'm sorry. Um I, I apologize for it, but um, we're going to try to do it because it's I'm thinking this is like really long. Uh, maybe not this one. I don't remember which one it was, but we'll figure it out. It just keeps going and going and I get bored very easily, even on my own stuff. Yeah, I feel like there should be something behind this door, and I don't. I don't know if it, that's the one, or if that's like a seal or something. But I feel like there should be something there. Yeah. I can handle the black axe does really well as she says as she dies um it does really well um however i am not gifted game player i apologize uh i died uh you die a lot in valheim it's I, 
the most I die from is usually trees, especially early game. I keep chopping and chopping and chopping and then they land on me and then I die. A lot, guys. I die a lot to trees. True story. Um, not completely sure why I just sat there and stared at that for so long, but there we go. I did. I'm sure I said something very witty and funny. Um, sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, as long as I can take them individually, I seem to be okay with them. Um, yeah. Ow, ow. Yeah, that's right. Just let them hit you. That's right. It's it's a valid way of fighting. Just let them beat on you until they're tired and you can move on. And, yeah. Okay, that's random. I get lost in a circle, guys. I really do. It's a true story. I cannot seem to ever... I get lost so easily, especially in these things. <laughs> um, so, uh, I think I get stuck in, down in this one. And one of them I get stuck, like, and I couldn't see where I was, so I didn't know what I was getting stuck on. So I think this is the where I'm going to speed it up because I think this is this is the boring part. There we go. We speed it up really, really, really. I'm just speed um skipping ahead here, so it's a little wonky. So I apologize for that because, like I said, I am just learning. There we go. I killed most of them. Yeah, this is where I get stuck. Look, I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? I don't know. That's right. Go back down there. Get stuck again. Oh, I didn't get stuck as much as I thought. Okay. Once again, I still think there's something there. I feel it, don't you? That's right. Swing at nothing. Um, yeah, so... I don't know why. It's really bothering me. It still bothers me. I don't even remember if I ever got into it or if it's nothing or what, but I, I remember that a couple of places, it, it bothers me that there's like um, stairs there and they're not going anywhere. And now I'm going to get lost because I don't know where I'm at. I, I get lost a lot, guys. I think I was checking to see if I killed everything there. I'll probably die down here. I do it. True story. I do it a lot. Yes, I'm afraid of something. There we go. Is this the one I get stuck on? Yeah, there's. I'm stuck on something. I'm always stuck. Remember? It's like... Back in Halo, there was always that one kid that just sat there and jumped for no reason. Yeah, that's me. I'm that person. It's embarrassing. It's also very hard to fight things you can't see. Thank God those uh, little labels are on top of their head. The seekers and stuff. Oh yeah, that didn't help at all. Look at that. Nothing. I can't see a thing. I'm stuck. It's embarrassing. Look, I can't. You can't jump, can you? You can't. Don't try it. Okay, guys. I'm completely embarrassed, and we're gonna we're gonna watch me do this. 
I probably give up soon because truthfully I'm just not that smart <laughs> go around go around it <laughs> guys I'm embarrassed and I'm letting you watch me do this there we go I don't understand why they keep doing these overhangs on the things that you need to jump to get up out of um that is the way up I think I'm like 90% sure probably not um so I'm going to stop it because I'm embarrassed and I'm kind of done. Um, so you all have a good one. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, remember to hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification. Uh, it makes YouTube so incredibly happy when you do things like that. They get so excited. And uh, go ahead, leave a like, um, a, a, hopefully a, a good comment. And uh, let me know if you like these voiceovers. Okay, have a good one.